Hello. Got a new story here. It's called, Can I Be Your Dog? <laughs> he writes letters to everybody. Can I be your dog? Dear people at Yellow House, woof. Can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfi. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. In the mail. Dear Arfi, we are so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, cuts me. Can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, nom, nom. He's homeless. Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots, plus let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Arfi. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number four. Five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not going to lie. You're my next to last choice. But the past few days, I, it's been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfi. Dear Mutt, get lost. Aww. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfi. Return to sender. Last house on Butternut Street. Nobody at this address. Oh. Oh. She's looking for a place. Oh, he's so cute. He got something. I wonder who wrote him. To our feet. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner with hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. who kept sending the letter. Looks like she's looking for him. Ah. Ah. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Woof. Scritch, scratch. <clears throat> That's the end. But here, here's how you can help a homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. 
volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spay or neuter your pet so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group, such as American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA.org, or the Humane Society. All little, humanesociety.org. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Art. And there he is. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.